Hi, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to be reacting to In the Morning by Itzy. So this video came out April 30th and it's June 25th. I'm so excited actually because I really like Itzy. I have never listened to an album by them, which is a shame. Please recommend their best album that you think in the comments because I really want to listen to one. But I really like all of the title tracks that I know by Itzy, so I don't know, I'm just really excited and I, I'm so sad that I haven't gotten a chance to see it until now. But before, if you liked this video at the end of it, please don't forget to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you want to. And also I have a Patreon which you can check out, it's linked in the description. And also if you're new to my channel, make sure to read through the description just to know what my channel and I and my videos are about. What I are about, that makes sense. I didn't get spoiled at all, which is a miracle seeing that it came out such a long time ago. I usually really, really like Itzy videos, so I'm really excited for this one and just for the song and for my bae, Ryujin, she is, oh my God. And Yuna, I've been really loving since not shy i really loved yuna in that one so i'm really excited to see all of them back in action oh wait actually let me read the lyrics really quick before okay i read through the lyrics it seems like they're singing to someone saying you're gonna fall in love with me overnight you won't know what happened to you you'll just be all over me and you will have no idea how it happened because i'm so sly and i'm so sneaky and i'm just so alluring that you don't even realize that you're falling in love with me kind of a thing that's kind of what I'm getting. Uh, I'm really excited for this. I'm seeing some patterns in the lyrics that I'm excited to hear. So let's listen. Ah, mafia. I see. Okay, in the morning. Let's go. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. I don't. Oh. No, yeah, no. Adic, timey, and yeah, Oh my god, this is intense. Oh my god, Yeji. Whoa, the car. Uh. Oh my god, you nice. Wow. 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 Uh. I have so many thoughts. <laughs> I'm just making sounds. <sighs> oh, that was cool. Wow. God. What is happening? Ooh, that was cool. That was creepy, but cool. Oh my god! Holy crap. The match cuts. <gasps> oh. I'm literally only looking.
No, not bicycle. I'm still thinking about. I'm still thinking about Yuna. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Oh my god. Yuna is. Yuna is the shit. I'm sorry. I cannot believe. Literally, the entire ending section, I did not take my eyes off her. She's so good. Yeji, too, though. Yeji is amazing in this video as well. They're definitely my two favorites in this video. They're so good. I'm sorry. I mean, she looks amazing in this. Oh my god, I love her still. I really love the verses. The first time I heard the chorus, it wasn't as impressive to me as the verses. But by the second time the chorus came on, I was already like vibing to it. I think the more I listen to it, the more I like it. But it's really good, but it's so different from what I expected. It's so dark. I love it. It suits them so well. Oh my God. Is this is, wow, this was such a great comeback. I'm so sad that I experienced it so late. What the hell? Uh, this beginning section, it was so creepy. <laughs> Mannequins are creepy anyways, but this like I didn't even realize because her face is kind of like Shining like the mannequins faces. So I didn't even realize and then I saw she had a face and I was like, oh, this is so creepy Oh my god, I don't know and then we oh my god. We have all of this. Oh my god. This is kind of creepy Honestly all of this editing. I didn't even see any of that So we cut to an empty frame with no mannequins and no Ryujin and then cut in all of this kind of like film old-timey-esque and then we're back here so then we zoom out and then we cut in this mannequin and then we zoom out even more and then we cut in Ryujin outside of the store so she goes back here and then if you look it's very closely down here you can see that it's kind of moving up right there I don't know if you see that like there's some something's going on here so it looks like they replaced some footage and then also you can see that her shadow only now comes into the frame so maybe what they did is they cut her out but then they also used a screenshot of an empty set to put in the background something like that maybe a lot of the techniques that they used in this video uh, really remind me of Stray Kids videos. Obviously, it's JYP. It's the same company, so that makes sense. But if I point a lot to Stray Kids, that's why. It's just like the, the things they use. Like this is, reminds me of All In. I love the wardrobe. Them in all black, please. All the time, always. I love all of their hair colors. Yeah, this is again like kind of like God's Menu Stray Kids thing where they like snap the camera to another position like they wipe and then all of this um, camera stuff also really reminds me of Stray Kids. Uh, Leah vanishes behind Yuna here. Yuna steps to the side and then Leah is still here but you can also already see with Yeji. Yeji is gone and now Leah is gone. So I'm guessing that this is all one shot still like they she was really here with the other girls and then she, when she walks across Yeji they cut out this part this side of her Maybe that's also why her hair is kind of cut out. Like here it's a little more flowy and then in the next it's kind of like a square. So they cut her out here and then you can see here that they replaced some part of the footage here because the, the line is not... they don't match. And then they just used her as like a wipe transition. I guess they just shot it multiple times, like one with the girls in the back still and one without them. And then they just replaced the background but here anyways Leah wouldn't be in the background anymore so I guess they just transitioned back to the normal footage where no one is in the screen anyways that's what I would guess what they did here is they shot the same from the same angle pretty much in the same location and all they did was change her wardrobe change the lighting and add these bars but you can see that this structure in the back here is still there look how good she looks unbelievable she looks so good oh my God, this shot in general, the composition, she's framed by the bars and then she's framed by this frame. And then we have on the opposite end, we have this frame on top, which all of this like points us in right in the center. And then she's right in the center. It's so good. And then we have this set. The sets and the production design in this video are so good as well. Like you can tell that most of the things where they're shooting are sets but it still looks really good and believable. And then we have this set again, which this looks familiar. All right, see, this is the same location. So I guess it's, it is a set. It's the same place, just all of the plants removed. And then instead they built this entire thing with all of those 
katanas, I think. And then this kind of reminds me actually of, is it Dala Dala? In this tunnel that they shot in. But this is so cool, the light of the tunnel and then the set in the background and them being all white, very futuristic and the floor being so reflective. This looks so cool. I guess what they did is they shot this multiple times again. They shot one where they like actually zoomed in and then cut or whatever and then they shot one without anyone like here it looks like they're cutting to a different take because the floor gets darker and this there's like a light off in the side on the side here this is also so cool how did they do that i don't know so we have cheryong crossing the screen and then Ryujin and Leah go out of the frame you can again see kind of some kind of difference here that here in this corner something is changing and also on this side something is changing so they kind of left the camera there or like they programmed it to go to this angle in this shot with Ryujin still they programmed it to stop here and then they knew the settings for this so they put the settings again and then they zoomed out to have Cheryong come up that's I would guess what's that's what they did here I wouldn't assume that this is the easiest way to do this but it seems to me that they actually shot this with all of the girls and then they just cut out the other girls because if you look here her arm is missing but then also it looks like they inserted Yeji because she has this like black outline that could be the background but also her shadow changes completely as well so maybe it's just a new take but then why is her arm missing here i don't know something again with editing where they replace some kind of footage it's difficult to say this uh, afterwards and then we have this which is so cool so she does this and then we zoom in on her face and then here you can already tell like they just cut out the like the inside of her hands how does she do this so she just they just replace this square that she holds up pretty much i love that edit i guess they did something here with like time remapping and changing the speed of the footage because it just looks so unnatural the way she moves but maybe that's just her skill. I love this outfit on Leah. She looks so amazing. They all look so great in this video. And then they do like a bunch of flash edits. I don't think there are any cuts in here. I think it's just in color correction. They just adjusted the brightman, brightman, the brightness and some of the colors. Oh my god, these match cuts are so good. Oh yes. So the camera moves down and that also makes it like gives this illusion that it's the same movement because the girls are doing the same movement but the camera is doing the same movement as well yeah i don't really understand the design behind the the sets like this i don't know what that's supposed to be it looks kind of like a jail but it also kind of reminds me of star wars i don't know and then we have the garden thing which i don't know what it's about and then we have this tunnel which looks so futuristic but then in the background we have this like really urban street or even the mannequin store in the beginning like I don't know why that's featured because it comes in in the beginning and they're dancing in front of it but mannequins never come up again so i don't know what the theme is of the video it feels a little bit thrown together but maybe i'm missing the point but otherwise i really like the production design just like on like a work level i guess just all of the work that's put in all of this they reused sets a lot of times but you don't even notice it because they changed them up so drastically which is really cool and really smart but otherwise i don't have too much to say to the video i would say it's very itsy it except the thing that I already said in Not Shy. Icy and Dala Dala, they were so full of graphics and I super loved that. I thought it was really unique to Itzy and I really, really, I just really liked how they implemented like this kind of cartoon style into their videos. And then in Wannabe, they were like, a lot less graphics already and then in not shy they were gone completely and i was kind of missing them and in here they don't have any graphics either but i guess they're just moved away from the concept which makes sense because you know kind of the cartoonish style in dala dala especially was more sweet and more like fun cute and this is definitely more dark so it makes sense that they you know evolved away from that concept i guess but otherwise other than the graphics it just feels very itsy you know like those camera movements around and closer they did that in dala dala already with yeji in the tunnel dancing but then i can also see just the recent jyp influence the things that they do with stray kids videos as well like them zapping into different places and the wipes and all of that stuff so it's just very it's just very jyp but yeah that was my reaction i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like let me know what you thought of the song of the video as always a huge thank you goes to all of my patrons especially isabel pineapple senpai heiho jeho gerald and 
Felipo. I almost forgot, but Felipo. Thank you so much for supporting me on my Patreon. And if you're interested in checking it out, then the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.